hearing impairment. Good afternoon. Uh, today we gathered uh, for a meeting regarding the project. You all received emails, so you know uh, what is it about. You have all the information. Um, so, considering uh, the colleague Anna is a deaf person, uh, today with us is a sign language interpreter, so she will translate to Anna everything what's going on, and uh, so Anna can follow the meeting. Okay, hi. I just want to let you know that the package you think it has already uh, arrived, and it's with me. Can we go to the coffee during the break? Ah, sorry, just a second. Ah, excuse me. Why are you translating this? Who gave me the right to translate? It's a private conversation. My God. You're so not flexible. Okay, uh, we'll be in touch. Okay. We'll talk about we'll stay in touch. Dear ma'am, the conversation is loud enough for all hearing persons to hear it. As hearing people have the right to hear, deaf people have the right to hear too. If you don't want Miss Anna to hear what you're talking about with the other Miss, you two should leave the room. I just uh, wanted to apologize for the earlier behavior of mine. Um, I didn't know there is sort of rule for that kind of conversation and I'm sorry I thought about what you said and I agree Anna has every right to understand the informations that are at the meeting I accept the apology my role is to interpret for a deaf person but I acted exceptionally in this case as an educator and informant People do not know that the right of deaf people is the right to access information that is also available to hearing people, the right to timely information, as well as the right to equal inclusion as other stakeholders in society. It is also necessary to raise awareness of the role of the interpreter. For more information on hearing impairment and adaptations, See our guide to universal design at the following site.